Welcome back. You're still watching uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now imagine a gender equal world, a world free of bias, stereotypes and discrimination, a world that's diverse, equitable and inclusive, a world where difference is valued and celebrated. That's the message being passed as a world max. International Women's Day today. It's a global holiday celebrated annually on March 8 to commemorate the cultural, political, and socioeconomic achievements of women. It's also a focal point in the women's rights movement, bringing attention to issues such as gender um, equality, reproductive rights, and violence and abuse against women in the area. Uh, in the area of technology, we often hear of big names who have made or are making things happen uh, but what about women are they also making an impact in technology or is there a gap between the genders in this all-important space uh, that needs to be filled i'm very glad to say we have joining us on the breakfast this morning shelmo runshewe who is a senior product manager at chipper show nice to have you on the program and happy International yeah. Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day to you. <laughs> All right. Um, 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 what, what does this mean um, to you, uh, to have a day celebrated, you know, or set aside to celebrate women and to also push for gender equality? What does it mean to you? I think it's, it's, a, it's a chance for us to reflect on the progress that we've made because that gap has been wide. And because of this movement, um, hopefully... Oh, oh, over time, the gap is closing, right? So this is a chance for us to think about what are we doing to close that gap? What are we doing to, to drive representation and success stories among women um, to improve or promote and advocate for women's rights? All right, so, so you, you're saying there is a gap? Um, let's, let's zero in into the, the tech space. Yes. Do you find that gap? Absolutely. And how, how wide is it and how challenging is it for you? Absolutely. Um, so. Generally, in tech companies, you find that um, at best, the really good statistic is women make 33% of, of their um, workforce because it's a, it's a male-dominated space, right? Um, and so a day like this is a very good chance to, to drive you know, representation and show the people, show the women who are driving change and making things happen in the tech space. Um, it's also a chance to, to talk about funding women, right? So in the tech space in Africa today, um, over a billion dollars has been raised in, in, in the African tech ecosystem so far, from, from January 1st okay. to now, so right? about the unicorns and all this? Well, it, for smaller companies too. Okay. On an aggregate, over a billion dollars has been raised, but less than 10% has gone to work to, Women focused or led um, startups. Um, there are there are VC companies that are trying to move the needle there, like First Check Africa, okay. who is a venture capital company. Absolutely. Right. So they are women focused. They would only fund companies that are led by women or promoted by women, right? So these are some of the ideas that we're hoping to to see go mainstream in the tech space, not just in Africa but globally. Uh, 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 why 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 do we have this this uh, gap? You know. Women-led companies having just about 33% of uh, the funds raised so far um, going to them. Why is why, why, why a small a disparity? Well, my first thought is boys club. Um, <laughs> very much so. I mean, I think that every, every other sector um, was first a boys club. And then women had to push their Ooh. way in. <laughs> no, that sounds hard. No, but is it, it, isn't it that we don't have we don't have enough women in? But I don't feel I don't know when I hear boys club, it's something. It sounds like we the boys or the men uh, have kept it exclusively for themselves. Because I am for I'm pro women. You know, I'm sure most of the companies out there like Flutterwave and Paystar, they and, are, they you are. know, and cheaper for they women. Are. But, yes. but it, isn't, isn't it more because we don't have enough women-led companies, or enough women in the space, if you look at the, the statistics? I think, I think that there is a consciousness within the companies and the people who lead these companies that, that needs to come to the forefront of what are we doing to help women take up more space? In, tech, in in our in our sector, how how do we promote more women leaders within our tech space, okay. right? Um, how do we have more women front and center leading some of the things that make us successful tech companies? And as you mentioned, companies like Paystack and Flutterwave and Chipper, especially, um, the uh, that's front and center in in 
the work that they do, right? And we're seeing it in terms of the results that these companies have. Okay, so, so let's begin to talk about it. Uh, you have mentioned about 33% or 32 in terms of representation, if you want to look at statistics, and we're talking about Africa right now at this point. But some people would say that um, the reason he's asked, the reason for this gap, um, why do we have these reasons? Because we don't have women available. Or uh, some people would say that it's because of the cultural sentiment and biases that we hold that have actually not allowed women to break even. I mean, so you have a point where women feel that we're not supposed to, you know, so social acculturation is number one. Yes, so yes. you have a, a situation where you're raising a boy child, mm -hmm, a girl child, mm -hmm. and then you constantly expose the boy child to certain uh, kind of, you know, items to play with. Yeah. And then you already expose a girl child to staying in the yeah. kitchen yeah. and playing with dolls yeah. and yeah. trying to make their hair and what have you. Yeah. And so don't you think that this also have contributed in creating this Absolutely. bias? You get to school and they tell you, you know, the girl is supposed not to study yes. medicine. She's yes. not supposed to be a mathematician and, and all of that. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that that's an idea that should be in the bin um, for African homes because women have so much to offer this world so much to offer technology businesses. And so the conditioning, um, I made a statement with, with the women at Chipper this week where I said, every time I speak up, it is, in, it is in defiance to the conditioning and the upbringing that I've had of be quiet and don't take up space and don't use your voice, right? Um, so there's work to do there where we condition our girls and boys to, for boys to respect women and and create space for them and and be and you know be inclusive right and for women to promote themselves just as boys are conditioned to to take up space just as boys are conditioned to and then and another thing you know driving it home to um, tech is a lot of women think that you know this is just i don't know how to code so i don't have space in tech I've, I've written a few lines of code, but that's just for fun. I've never actually written a line of code that would go into production, right? Um, there's space for pretty much every skill set. We need marketing people. We need people people. We need operations experts. HR people. We need partnership experts, oh. right? Um, we need even engineers can be women, right? So there's no role within this sector that is not available. Important. That is not even important to women, right? Because um, a software developer can write the best code, but if, if there's nobody to promote what he's done, he doesn't have a business, right? So women need to understand that no matter what my skill set is, there's space for me, right? And it's very possible that I'm going to thrive in technology. Uh, you know, every, every field has, and we had a, a guest here from the hospitality sector before he came in. And she talked about you know entrepreneurship um, um, challenges we've been facing in the entrepreneurial space. Tech is still an entrepreneur because that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. But what what are the unique challenges that women face in the tech space that are unique to the tech space? First of all, it's, it's this barrier that that I've just mentioned, where um, there's this impression, this mainstream impression that hopefully this this conversation will help put mm -hmm. a dent to that if I can't you know write code, if I can't write Java and Python, um, then I'm not going to thrive in, te in technology. And I think that that's, that's something that people's minds need to be disabused of. Um, that's the first step, right? Um, I think another step is, even when you get in, promoting yourself and taking up space and, and thriving and doing your best work and living your best life, right, um, is something that, that should be promoted among women in, te in technology. Women are fully allowed to be just who they are um, in this space. So would you say now, you know, looking at Africa, uh, would you say that their policies, uh, do you say that you have people, whether or not they're in government acting and ensuring that you have a lot of women getting involved in tech uh, from the elementary level. So I, w I would credit that, that effort to the companies themselves, 
um, because there's so much work that it would take for us to go to the National Assembly, for example, right? Um, but within us, and the tech community is so fantastic because it's such a close-knit one. And so the ideas that we have about being progressive, being more inclusive, is a shared sentiment. And so there's, there's effort on the company level and as an ecosystem to have more women lead and, you know, promote this thing that we're building from ground up. Right. Um, um, I, I, I don't know if you'd agree with me, Michelle, but I, I feel that the, the tech space um, and the tech sector is one of the more forward thinking sectors. Absolutely. Uh, as far as women issues are concerned, gender issues are concerned, yes. let's call it that. And they try hard, you know, to, um, to ensure that there is a, a sort of a, a modern way of doing things. Because mm -hmm. these are, I mean, you talk about technology, it's modernity. Um, but but would you would you agree with me that um, maybe women in the tech space or tech sector um, are, are seen in a different way or perceived by the larger society now? I'm looking at the women who are in the tech space, and you know looking at them, the perception amongst other women in society. So you look at a woman who is in technology company, uh, maybe as um, she codes, for instance, or as an engineer. Um, versus a woman who is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that people sometimes misunderstand women in the tech space? They see uh, women a bit as maybe being too macho, uh, being too boyish in a way, being too serious, not being girly enough. Do you, do you get that vibe from people when they don't understand the women in the tech space, uh, no, because you have to really be like seriously into the science. So do you get that vibe? <laughs> really, I, I, I think you that ne you've never heard of that before. It, it, your your assumption is, is no, no, it's not an assumption. Yeah. I've I've seen no, it it is an assumption because it's, there's it's so personal, many yeah. so many girly girls in mm -hmm. tech. Mm -hmm. We're always yeah, having, just like yourself. Yes, I'm <laughs> I'm as girly as they come. Mm -hmm. I I do facials every month, and I I'm pro self care, and I you know because I mean very I, girly. So it's it's a misconception. Did, then, did my know. nails? I wear jewelry, all of that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what we do in my group of friends in tech, we go on self care dates, right? So it's that's a misconception. There there are people who 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 just choose to be more relaxed because they don't see the need to be to be, to be girly, but then. That's their business. That's okay. nobody else's business. Shouldn't be a thing, should it? That's the, th the beauty of the freedom of like being forward thinking. Mm -hmm. You're free to be, just come to the table just as you are. Um, there's no need to be anybody else or to, or to try to, to fit to a form. Yeah. Um, just be. Okay, fantastic. So, so, um, so, so we, we have to go finally, um, but, but what, what can we do? You've talked about um, the fact that the women are not being encouraged to go forward there. Uh, what can society do to um, encourage women to be more interested in tech and to also to, to encourage them? Mm -hmm. You know, because you're doing great things. Thank you. We can talk about the likes of uh, Elon Musk, the likes of Bill Gates and co, but there are women who are doing great things, who have even done great things in these companies and are not being talked about. Yeah. Um, so would you say, okay, we need to highlight the role of women in technology some more and what other measures need to be put in place to ensure that we have more women participation because it's very important. I like the point that you just raised. Representation is everything because um, my, one of the sayings that have um, been a guide to me is you can't become what you don't see, right? So more women need to see more successful women in tech thriving and being girly and being not girly and being just who they are <laughs> and thriving um, because it it gives you the, the permission to think that you that you can do it too right so that's one and and then education on on these are the you know pathways that are available to you okay. into tech and finally I think that the tech ecosystem has done a fabulous job of just building communities around different skill sets mm -hmm. to allow people get into the space. Fantastic. We, we have to go. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Sheryl Ronshewe is um, the Senior Product Manager at Chipa and she has given us some fantastic analysis. Happy International Women's Day once again to you. Thank you. Mercy, we have to call it a day. Thank you so much and if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's alright to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and do subscribe to YouTube channel with Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Bopo and see you tomorrow. And I'm Kofi Patel's return tomorrow. Good morning.